don't have to worry and don't you be afraid joy comes in the morning troubles they don't last always for there is a friend named jesus who will wipe all tears away and if your heart is broken just lift your hands and say, I know that I can make it, I know that I can stand, no matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands, I know that I can make it, I know that I can stand, no matter what may come my way. My life is in your hands. You don't have to worry. And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles, they don't last away. For there is a friend named Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, I know that I can make it, I know that I can stand, no matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. I know that I can make it, I know that I can stand, no matter what may come my way. My life is in your hand. With Jesus I can take it. With him I know I can stand. No matter what may come my way. My life is in your hand. So when, so when your test, so when your tests and trials, they seem to get you down. And all you have, friends and loved ones, I know where to be found. Remember there's a friend named Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. With Jesus, I can take it. Praise the child of God. Shalom, shalom. My name is Charlie D. This lesson today. Thank you very much for tuning in for our lesson today. I know and I do believe that each and every one of us are going to be blessed by our slice of today. In that, if you want to be, if you want to be great in the kingdom of God, you've got to be having. You've got to be found having a track record, a track record of praying, a track record of, record of fasting, a track record of reading the other Lord, a track record of fellowshipping together with other believers, and that God not is not going to be found doing things in your life because of your past or in accordance to your past, but in accordance to your track record. And so this is encouragement to each and every one of us to live a life of having a track record and that let people continue on saying that that's the guy who usually pray, that's the guy who usually goes to church, that's the guy who usually does that, who usually do, uh, who surely do this, who surely does that, in that let you be known to be that kind of guy, in that that's you, it's you having a track record, and before you know it, you're going to be fun being great and doing great things in the kingdom of God. Uh, this wonderful morning, I had the privilege of listening to Apostle Joshua Selman, and he was talking about track record, having that re resilience, always holding on, always allowing yourself to go through the fire, and he said that at times when we pray to God, it seems as if God is silent, but God is training us in a particular thing. God is not silent, but is training us for a particular thing and so you just know that he hears you loud and clear but he wants you to learn a particular thing in that time that you're in and so today i'm going to be found uh, sharing about 10 times better 10 times better and i know that you believe that we are going to be blessed let us pray for much never leave father in the much name of the lord jesus christ i'm going to the early father for this wonderful day i give it to each and every one of us thank you dearly father for the word which are given unto me to share with your people god dearly father i know and that you believe oh god is going to be a word that is full of hope full of light oh god and dearly father full of your grace oh god thank you dearly father for the anointing which follows your word oh god i know that you believe oh god that each and every one of us oh god are going to be found being 10 times better oh god uh, than than our than 
and our competitors in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. And so, to 10 times better, uh, if you have been uh, following what I've been sharing, the theme for the month has been the cold, and I've been looking into call, 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 and uh, and I'm going to be found sharing about us being 10 times better. Uh, it is a time that Moses, that Moses threw his rod to the ground, and then it turned to a serpent. Before that, you know, before that, uh, at the burning bush, when God told Moses, remove your sandal before because you're standing on holy ground, in that God told Moses, throw the rod that you're having into the ground. And once he threw that rod into the ground, it changed into a serpent. And then Moses, in that, he felt, he felt afraid, he felt afraid. You know, at times people show like snakes are bad, snakes are bad. In that, a snake, a, a rod turned into a snake in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, you see, the God's creation, the Crocodile is God's creation, the lion is God's creation, the snake is God's creation, the chameleon is God's creation. And it's gonna it's, there's gonna be found being a time that we're gonna be found sitting with the animals the same way that Adam got to name all the animals in the new Jerusalem, in the new earth, in the new in the new Jerusalem, in the new heaven, in the new earth, we're gonna be found enjoying such things. And so don't uh, I know even me I'm afraid of snakes. <laughs> I'll not lie to you. Uh, but anyway, back to the back to uh, what I was talking about. Uh, the rod was uh, thrown into the ground and turned into a, into a serpent. And Moses freaked out. He 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 was afraid. He feared. He feared. And then the Lord told him that cut the serpent from the tail. Cut the serpent from the tail. That was a test, you know, for anyone who is who wants to tame a snake. And that you're not going to find taming a snake from its tail. If you try to cut its tail before you know it will have bitten you. It will have maybe eaten you up. And you will have like, why did I go for the tail? I could have gone for the head. I could have gone for the head. And so God tell him also to take the a snake by, by the tail. It was a thing about test, a thing about obedience. Uh, we, we all know about Moses growing up and being brought up with the Egyptian culture, in, in, in Egyptian education, with Egyptian knowledge. And they were used to snakes, and they're used to snakes. Uh, if you're used to seeing the pyramids and the statues that are there in Egypt, you're all, always going to find seeing the, the cobra, like a snake cobra, even when the pharaohs stick, you shall always be found seeing the symbol of a cobra. And so snakes to them, it's a, it's a normal thing. And so I bet uh, when he grew up with, with the Egyptian culture, he was always told that well, if you want to tame, tame a snake, you're, you're supposed to go for the head and not for the tail. But this time now, God is telling him to catch the snake at the tail that was a thing about obedience and Moses went ahead and obeyed he caught it at the tail and he turned out to back to uh, being his normal role and also to each and every one of us in that I do believe in the God of miracles and I do believe that something can come from nothing in that he created the, out, he created the universe out of nothing and Paul Rice tells us that we ought to find living a life of fixing our eyes on the unseen because what is seen is temporal what is seen uh, isn't pa is, isn't permanent in that it's there today it's gone tomorrow and that's why we ought to find living a life of fixing our eyes on the unseen uh, I remember listening to uh, uh, his son uh, she was sharing about uh, a former uh, gospel artist uh, who passed away around 2017 and that gospel artist in that he has lo he had lost his sight he had lost his sight but God had opened his vision he was always able to tell what someone had won uh, the, the kind of hairstyle someone was having and he was able his vision was was, was open and he was able to see things up in a different way uh, one time around piston I uh, walks into the room uh, they was, uh, to have a meeting together and then that the guy's like I like your green jacket I like the way you have shaved your hair and then Piston is like what you guys are not blind in that how are you able to see and then he told him that uh, he, yeah, he, he lost his physical sight but his spiritual eyes were open and then he told him that there was, uh, there was a line about God separating the true, um, true gospel artists and those of whom are quacks of the world. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I ever used the word quacks. Anyway, uh, what was this? Uh, fixing our eyes on the unseen, uh, living a life of having a vision, and I have quite a lot to say. Anyway, sticking back to our story, and so when Moses went before Pharaoh through the road and into the ground, and it turned out to be a snake, in that at times everything that we do is going to be found starting off in the secret place. For example, praying pray for the sick. Uh, you praying, 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 maybe for one hour, maybe for two hours. In that trainings are usually happening in the secret place. And then when you go outside there, you know, you're going to be found being able to do those things. Uh, because, because you know, because you have a track record of your secret, secret place, of your uh, secret room. In that you know that you can pray, you know that you can pray for the sick, you know that you can hear God, you know that you can 
uh, when you read the word of the Lord, you, you receive a revelation light in that everything you know that you can do is always from the secret place. And that Moses knew that once he threw that rod into the crowd, it was going to be found uh, turning into a snake. In that you're not uh, throwing it to the crowd, uh, wishing, hoping that it would turn into a snake. But it was like the God who showed me this in the secret place. Uh, I'm referring to the holy place, the holy ground upon which he was standing on as a secret place. In that the God who showed me this in the secret place, I know that you believe that he is you're not going to be found failing me when i'm here before pharaoh and before the egyptian and before the sorcerers and the magician i know that you believe that god ain't gonna find letting me down and also also to each and every one of us in that god giving you a business idea uh, god giving you a particular thing and trusting to you a particular thing in that it's always there to build you up to make you feel like wow wow uh, maybe at times maybe when you pray 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 uh, the lord tells the lord gives you a rhema word and, and then you're about to go and minister the lord gives you a rhema word and then when you go to minister in that you are you're like you're like uh you're like not the, you've already done uh, you've already downloaded and so you're outpouring whatever you downloaded downloaded from the lord uh, i know i hope you know the difference about upload and download upload we seeking our things to the cloud downloading that you have it comes down and so Moses knew that once he threw the rod into the ground, it was going to start to change and to become a serpent uh, because he knew of the God who was with him in the secret place, in the holy place, on, on the holy ground. And so he turned uh, to a snake and then also the magician threw their rods, they turned into a snake. But the one for Moses, uh, the, but the one for Moses ate up the snakes of the, of, of the other snakes and, and, it didn't, it didn't, uh, and it didn't show. And then Moses got it by, by them by the tail once again it turned back to, to being a rod and that's the thing about 10 times better do we go deeper let's go deeper and so you know the lord when you read about uh, david and, and 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 saul in that that portion of scripture that told about you this uh, this uh the snake and the rod turned into a serpent is our theme verse we're gonna be found looking into it when i'm gonna be found coming to the close of it uh, but now let's uh, look into uh people's life who were found to be 10 times better than their competitors, than their companions, they were found to be ten times better. And the other Lord, when you read about David and Saul, uh, the women started singing, saying that uh, Saul has killed a thousand, but David has killed ten of thousand. Ten of thousand, when you uh, take a thousand, multiply it by ten, what you get? Ten of thousand, ten thousand. And so that's what I'm going from sharing about. And so David has killed ten. And maybe for you, you should like offended, you, you know, you, you don't usually get it in that how was the Lord allowing them, how was the Lord allowing them to go and kill their enemies, to go and kill people, to tell them that leave no one alive, leave nothing, uh, leave nothing there. Uh, I, I don't know if you have ever asked yourself that question. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 7, and I bet today we're going to be found having the answer in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 7, uh, first, and you're going to be found having our fun day on saturday in the book of first samuel chapter 18 verse 7 and it says uh, let's start off from uh, 7 it's okay so the women sang and uh, start off from verse 5 so david went out uh, whatever saul sent uh, so david went out wherever saul sent him and behaved wisely even though even though saul was always trying to kill david david still remained uh, under him uh, carrying out the commands of the king in that he didn't uh, he didn't go like you guy <laughs> i killed goliath and you're here about to kill me in that why don't i just uh uh take men from you and start my own government start my own emperor but he didn't uh, do anything like that and uh, now when he had finished sorry i saw david uh, went out wherever Saul sent him and behaved wisely and Saul sent him of sent him over the ten men of war and he was accepted in the sight of all the people and also in the sight of Saul's servant now it happened as they were coming home when David was returning from the slaughter of the Philistine that that the women had come out of all the cities of Israel singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tambourines uh, sorry about the pronunciation with joy and with musical instruments so the women sang as they danced and said Saul has slain his thousand and David is ten thousand that Saul was, Saul was very angry and and say and the saying displeased him and he said they have ascribed to David ten thousand and to me they have ascribed only thousand now that now what more can he have but the kingdom so Saul hired David 
from that day forward from that day forward so it was from this day forward uh, because uh, in that people are going to be found envying you people are going to be found are uh, being jealous uh, feeling are uh, having a uh, uh, feeling jealous about you about your success about how you're advancing about how you're succeeding about how you're excelling uh, it's because of you becoming 10 times better and we all know about david david was a worshiper a man who was after the heart of god so also for each and every one of us when we live a life of being of li when we live a life of running after the heart of god trust you me when we live a life of chasing the heart of god no obstacle no wall nothing is going to be found standing in our way because god is going to be found clearing the way for us clearing the way for us clearing the way for us uh, because we are living a life of chasing his heart david was a worshiper in that when he was in the field taking care of his father of his father a flock in that he always uh, played his harp, worship the lord praise the lord also to each and every one of us let us be found living a life of having worship be our become our lifestyle when we live a life of having worship become our lifestyle in that trust you me before you know it you're gonna be end, you're gonna be found ending up in the king's palace you know at times people usually dismiss and uh, people usually feel bad about where they are in that in that they keep on complaining in that in that i keep on i keep on being in this place i keep on this being, being in this place in that in that place that you are in in that first of uh, first of all thank god for the place that you are in the second thing live a life of worshiping god live a life of giving thanks unto him and before you know it god is going to be found change uh, ch turning around your story god is going to be found uh, turning around your life you're going to find your uh, going to find your, uh, your yourself in a beautiful and a wonderful place i remember one time around uh, not one time around on sunday i usually attend another youth meeting uh, in my friend's church good news church uh, there at zimmerman and so there's a young gentleman who was saying that there was a time that he didn't have a, 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 a job and, and that he was living in uh, Karyobangi Kari, if I'm not wrong and then in a wooden house and he always uh, walked outside his house and praying unto, Lord, praying unto the Lord, Lord, I pray, I pray, I pray uh, that this that um, this place is going to have electricity, that this place is going to have electricity and then he said that these days he's uh, 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 renting a house uh, that's the salary of someone in that the, his rent is the salary of someone uh, testifying of how God has been good to him and also to each and every one of us in that don't feel bad about your small beginnings in that it, you just start you just have your small beginning but but it's gonna be a curse if you end up small it's gonna be a curse if you end up small but if your beginning is small you have nothing to be ashamed of you have nothing to feel bad about in that you just continue on living appreciating um, appreciating uh, where you are knowing that there's a time that's gonna be found reaching and things are gonna be found having turn around and so that the, the thing about having a track record keep on doing what you're doing uh, keep on doing whatever you're doing with all of your heart with all of your soul with all of your mind with, with all with joy and that uh, keep on doing it with joy and so david a worshiper man after god's own heart and then in the book of daniel we sing daniel shadak meshika rabenego after they were tested after 10 days or found to be 10 times better than the other people who are eating the delicacies that were being offered to them at the king's table then turn with me to the book of daniel chapter one and so just taking on how we can live a life of being ten times better and that you are being worshippers uh living a life of being a man and women who live a life of chasing the heart of god in the book of daniel chapter one i bet it's in the it's daniel chapter one uh, daniel chapter one verse 11 daniel chapter one verse 11 and it says so daniel said to them steward whom the chief of the eunuchs has said over daniel Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, please test your servants for 10 days. Then you show the number of tests. Also in the book of in the book of Revelation talks about uh, people going to be found being te te tested for 10 days. And trust you me, those 10 days in the book of Revelation ain't like the normal 10 days. Uh, Mishael, Daniel, Azariah, please test your servants for 10 days and let them give us vegetables uh, to eat and water to drink. Uh, so they were like, and people show that's where the concept about the Daniel fast usually comes from, in that uh, drinking of water, eating of vegetables. Then let us, uh, then let our appearance be examined before you, and uh, the appearance of the young men who eat the portion of, of the king's delicacies. I didn't know that was the this translation delicacies. And as you see fit, so deal with your servant. So he consented, agreed uh, with them in this matter, and tested them ten days. And at the end of the ten days. And their features appeared better and fatter i believe even as i live a life of fasting 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 in that i will always appear healthier stronger uh, because of fasting and this is really my encouragement uh, uh better 
fatter in flesh than all the young men who ate the portion of the king's delicacies. That the steward took away their portion of delicacies and the wine that they were they, they were to drink and gave them vegetables. As for these four young men. God gave them knowledge and skills in that as being ten times better and God continue on giving God continually giving unto each and every one of us knowledge and skill in, in, uh, in literatures in wisdom uh, in the book of Daniel chapter 1 verse 4 it says that young men in whom there was no blemish so look at the kind of people who these young men were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and Daniel in that there were young men who had no blemish and uh, maybe they were like spotless they didn't have any scars I usually hear about when someone go out, was, wants to join the army in that they can't allow you if you're having scars. I, I'm unsure about it because I've never enrolled to be a soldier physically, spiritually. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier for a young man in whom does not blemish, uh, but good looking. They are good looking. And so, believers, we are good looking in that people usually like in that believers uh, they look tired, they look old. But believers are good looking. Good looking for we are fearfully and wonderfully made. But good looking, gifted in all wisdom, each and every one of us having wisdom. And in the last days, it's surely by wisdom that we're going to be found being able to redeem time because these days are evil. Wisdom. Uh, possessing knowledge, quick to understand each and every one of us being able to grasp things quite fast. I don't know if you, uh, there's a, uh, in that, the thing about grasping things. In that it are, it's an area in that maybe in this area maybe when it comes to vehicle uh, servicing a vehicle in that it's hard for you to like understand what they keep on doing but when it comes maybe to drawing to art you're like flowing with the flow and uh, that's an area that you are quick to understand who have the ability to serve in the king's palace and whom they might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans uh, for me I believe I can be able to understand other languages I'm not yet <laughs> going into it but I should, but I should. And so you are seeing here, Dana Shadek Meshek Adabenego, in that they were found to be ten times better because they refrained themselves, they kept their, uh, they resolved within the same that, that, that they ain't gonna be found, defiling with themselves with the king's delicacies, although to each and every one of us, living a life of being principled, living a life of uh, of setting the boundaries right, setting the boundaries correct, of and saying that I'm not gonna be found doing this and this, I'm not gonna be found doing this and this, uh, and that's how you're gonna be found ending up becoming ten times better. And now in our verse for the day, as I come to a close in the book of Exodus chapter, Exodus, I don't know if I saw in chapter 10, uh, I checked it out in, with my phone, Exodus chapter 4. Exodus. I bet it was the first one. Uh, Exodus chapter 4. Chapter 4 before that, that's when uh, God goes to him uh, what he's going to be found doing uh, before Pharaoh. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we all know of the story. Uh, sorry about my end, not recalling, but I can search for it as they come to a close. The snake it. The other snakes. Exodus seven twelve. Exodus seven twelve, and it says. Exodus 7, 12, and it says, um, let me start off from verse 11, but Pharaoh also called the, vi the wise men and the sorcerers, so the magician of Egypt, they also did in like manner, 
with their enchantments for every man threw down his rod and they became serpent but Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods and Pharaoh's heart grew hard and he did not heed them as as the Lord has said so the Lord said to Moses put Pharaoh in the morning in the morning in the morning I was supposed to end with our cold sorry about it uh, but on Friday I'm gonna tell you about the verse so that's it you're blessed and a blessing blessing you're going in and coming out blessed get by the lord the lord goes before you his hands is upon you he's a god who's your lifter the lord give you peace shalom peace well-being wholesomeness fruitfulness in all your endeavors uh, whatever you'll be praying for because you delight yourself in the lord may it be guided unto you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i pray and believe amen amen amen